Wow, we have got a busy weekend. And I mean absolutely hectic. <laughs> Okay, okay. Trying to say is not wasting any more of your time is we have kitted ourselves out, we are feeling all summer, the sun is shining outside, and we've got a manic day. However, slight problem, I slept in. As you can see, it's five to 10. Not good when you've got how much I've got to get done today in the time I've got to get it done. But I'll tell you what, it doesn't matter how late I'm running because I'm not going nowhere or doing nothing until I've got a brew down me. So that is the first port of call. Just like that, brew time. Yes. But now that's done, we've got to head to town. So that is where we're going to go. Unfortunately, the front door is still broken, so around the back it is. Yeah. First part of the day done, the shopping section is completed. We got all we needed, and now we get home. Tell you what, by the way, as I got these stairs over the train bridge, obviously, I, my heart is set on Ireland. We're going Ireland, it's just when and where. The big two that we're looking at at the moment is Galway and Dublin. So, if you are from Ireland, Galway or Dublin, what we said, and is it within travelling distance? Because if we was in Ireland for like a week, we could stay in one of them and just visit the other one for a day. Let me know what you reckon. But I tell you what, it's getting way too hot, so I'm going to let you go, and I'll see you guys sneaking around the back of my house. <laughs> I'm home. I'm definitely going to get a bollock into that bang. I'm back. I know, I know. I've not done this five times already. How are you? I'm great. I'm always good seeing you, Josh. That wasn't forced. <laughs> anyway, we're home. How excited are you to see me, Mum? I'm so excited, Josh. Yay! You're the highlight of my day. Yay! <laughs> we are in the middle of some spring cleaning, by the way. Like, it's a madness. I say we like I had any part of any of this. But, like I said, we have got a very manic day today, including in about an hour and a half's time, maybe two hours-ish, me and my little brother are going to go watch the football. And as you probably saw in yesterday's video, the match day vlog, it is of course hashtag United YouTube sensations. Now, prof well, semi-professional, professional, can you call them professional? Professional football club. What a journey from Spencer Owen and Co. The time is now just before 12 and the kickoff is at 3. We're going to leave at about 2. So we've got a little time to just breathe for a second. And to be honest, all the plan is now I'm going to sit back with an innocent smoothie, if you're watching, boys. And reply to some of your comments. But then I guess I won't see you until we're off to the game. So in a bit, lads. Lads, it's time to go. Let's have it. Oh, it's match day. I'm just throwing this out here, by the way. I'm recording two videos at once here. It's going to be mad if it actually works. So, ladies and gentlemen, like I mentioned, it is match day. Bognor Regis Town FC versus Hashtag United. Nil nil half time. Very, very cagey first half. I can't lie. What did you say? What did you say? 3 0. There you go, full time, we're out of it. Nil nil, that chance at the end. Ooh. Right, that's over. Wow, that was something. <laughs> Not quite all the goals and all that we wanted to see, but it was still a solid day out, but some of the chances are going, it was a class, class time. If you guys want to see the full highlights of the game, go check out yesterday's video, and that is where you can watch all that. I would go on about all the goals are on there, but I should be saying the lack of goals. Although, to be fair, there was a goal. It was just disallowed. <laughs> But either way, mint, mint game. But now, Man United kick off in like 20 minutes, so we're legging it back, and hopefully just in time for the big kickoff. We need a bounce back from last week against Wolves, because we rode our luck beyond belief. Score prediction for the game, Harry? A KG 1-0 again. I've said 1-0 as well. I reckon our waveform last year was rubbish. We don't have a striker in the team. It's going to be 50-50. I reckon we'll nab a 1-0 though. But I'll see you guys back home for the game. Oh, we made it home just in time. And mum is cooking up an absolute storm. What are we cooking? Um, vegetable and chicken noodle soup. Oh, the good stuff. No one does it like mama. <laughs> <laughs> so 
left. Definitely. Definitely not. <laughs> and we're off Manchester United versus Spurs, our first away game in the season. Hopefully it's a lot better than last year's away record. As I've said, 1-0 with my prediction. Oh, early job for Anthony! Right, I need to be quick because we're 15 minutes in and dinner's ready! Look at this, a bit of a mum special. Ooh. It may look and smell good, but the question is, does it taste good? Thank you. Well, we're about to find out. Oh, it does. Mm, she's done well, she's done well. Just thrown out there, they've just said it here. If we didn't get that decision last week against Wolves, then that's get gives them a penalty. That's a blatant penalty. I'm not going to moan about VAR because we got very fortunate last week, but I just want you to know, we're even now. So if I hear one more Varchester United, wind your neck in and shut your face. Well, half time in the United Tottenham game. To be fair, we're very, very fortunate to not be one down. But also Bruno, he had to score his header. Bruno, some of his passing has been fantastic, but you've got to score that header. Spurs, that close, rattled in the woodwork. Jesus Christ. Two things, one. She made it. She's here. She brought innocent, innocent, if you're watching. Also, I was giving the Spurs goalkeeper a lot of stick. He's actually done very well this game. We've got a problem. So, there's 20 minutes left of the United game. We're 1-0 down because... We're so good lately. Our cinema movie starts in like 20 minutes. So we've actually got to leave now and miss the last 15 odd minutes, which is not good. So I'm hoping, because I'm not going to check the final score until after the movie, because if I find out we haven't scored and we've lost, I'm going to be miserable the whole movie. So I'm going to wait until after and hope for the best. I've got to go, but I really don't want to. We're going to lose. Oh, okay, let's go. Bye, love you guys. Come on, United. The things I do for you. Right now, Man United are playing Tottenham Hotspur. <laughs> we're one nil down, playing absolutely rubbish, and we're going to go watch Blue Beetle, which I'm very excited for, to be fair. I'm excited. It looks good. So whilst this movie is on, there's going to be the Man United game finishing, which I'm not going to find out the score until after, just so it doesn't ruin my mood for the whole movie, for your sake <laughs> and mine. And at half seven, whilst we're watching the movie, I've scheduled the match day vlog that we just did to go live. If there is any editing mistakes, I am really sorry. I rushed it while I was eating dinner and watching the United game, so I apologise, but I'm pretty sure I did a good job, so <laughs> fingers crossed. <laughs> and hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Movie over, we'll give you our thoughts in a second, because first, let's get a chippy. So, chips in and cheesy chips for a fiver, by the way, Christ. But it is that time, we just watched a blue beetle. What are we saying? <laughs> I'm gonna be brutally honest here now. Most of the time, you guys will hear me be like, Oh, yeah, it was me, and I loved it, I like this. But I'm an honest guy, do you know what I mean? If I enjoy it, I'll say I enjoy it. However, this movie is about two hours long. The first hour and like 10 20, respectfully, it was shit. Is that fair? Yeah, I, I think mean, the first when you part. Hear my rating and my explanation, you'll understand it. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I'm giving it like a four out of ten. I completely but, back that. But it's only because of the like, end battle scene. Yeah. The battle scene pushed it up to a four, by the way. Mm -hmm. Like, it would have been like two. <laughs> but, moral of the story DC, four. that was shite. <laughs> I hope you can hear that, do you know how mad that is? Uh, enough talk about the movie, I don't actually know if you can even see me. I've just checked the statistics for the old video I uploaded earlier on. It's a 4 out of 10, which is very, very decent. The views are absolutely banging. The comments and likes, not so much, but maybe that's something on my end. Did quite rush the editing, I can't lie. One thing I will say though, no matter how shit that movie might have been, it can't be as bad as the United vs Spurs game. I've just seen the final score. 2-0 defeat by the hands of Spurs and obviously I missed the last 15 minutes that first 70 Jesus Christ oh listen I'm not gonna be that guy who's gonna jump on the old get Eric out our club like bandwagon because that's stupid and reactionary and to be honest Arsenal <laughs> what I will say this happened last year the first couple games of the season was a slow slow start and although and although last week we won the game I don't know we played shock in that game as well this game as well we got Forest at home next then Arsenal not easy fixtures it's going to be an interesting next couple of weeks that's for sure and let's not sit here and pretend like it's a trademark Spurs side they're moving on with a new manager not any clinical striker like respect to Richarlison he's not Harry Kane but it could be worse at least I missed the last 15 minutes <laughs> what I did see though can we pay attention how good Bruno Fernandes is like wow some of his passing in that first half 
phenomenal. It's a shame nobody else has that type of skill set. He should have scored that header chance he had though, I can't lie. But anyways, with chips in hand, it is time to get home and bon voyage. We are here. Hi! Katie! Hi! I've got something for you. What about me? I tell you what, I'm normally most excited about a good cup of tea, but look at them cheesy chips. Katie, good call. <laughs> Cheese! Or should I say, cheese? <laughs> Guys, anyone? So but now, after all that cuff off, we can sit back, put your feet up, grab a brew. <sniffs> Definitely passes the seal of approval. And watch the highlights on match of the day of us getting embarrassed by Spurs. <laughs> See you after. Well, it's a new day. <laughs> Sun is shining, it's World Cup final day. The Lionesses in literally about an hour and a half's time, England versus Spain, history beckons. Now, this will be a bit different though because we have heard mumblings that there is going to be a massive, massive screen at this um, park field that we've got near us, right? So we're all gonna go down there, watch the game on the big screen. Hopefully it doesn't rain and hopefully the screen exists. And hopefully we managed to bring it home for the second time, England world champions. And you best believe we're kitted out in a full England gear. Come on, England. Let's bring it home. Also, just before we get ready to go out, I need to show you guys something. Do you know how mental that number is? You guys have been growing out of madness lately. And honestly, I appreciate you guys more than you will ever know. It's mental. The road to 3.7 is in full force. Also, literally, we are leaving in like half an hour's time. I'm gonna put the team sheet up here. Ella Toon keeps her place in the final. Doing it for the Reds. Big Mary Earps in goal as well. Two Manchester United players in the final 11. So proud of them, and hopefully the rest of the team can make us proud by bringing that trophy back to England. Not only European champions, but in literally two, three, four hours time, could be world champions also. Also, James is back on the bench after the stomp in the round of 16. I'm glad she didn't go straight into the team because the girls have done brilliant to get through the last few rounds without her and I don't think she deserves to be pushed straight in. So she's on the bench, Tooney keeps her place and hopefully history is beckoning for the Lionesses one more time. Three lines on a shirt. Let's bring it home, girls. Come on! Come on, England! Way. <laughs> That's all right. Fall into her. Oh. We are in a World Cup final. The sun is shining, people everywhere. And she's still reading them. <laughs> Whack it. Oh, off the bar! <laughs> it's 1 0 Spain. Get there. She has gone. Cut it back, cut it back. No. Big calls at half time. Daly and Russo are off for James and Chloe Kelly. Need some big change in the second half. No. That's the thing. They gotta check. Is the ref wrong? That and that's the thing. Ah, oh, it's a penalty. No. Come on, Mary. Yes! Come on! Come on! That's United's number one. <laughs> Mary's scoring the goal. Mary's going to tie the game for us. Oh, that's it. That's it. They've done it. Oh. Full time, 1 0 to Spain, absolute heartbreak once again. Champions of Europe, not champions of the world. The defence and Mary Earps in goal, absolutely phenomenal. But when you're going forward, the passing was sloppy, the chances we didn't take. It's unfortunate, but Spain were the better team on the day. But the sun stayed bright. It was a brilliant day out. It's just a shame we could not bring it home. 
back to England. Next up, the men in Germany next year for the Euros. That's just like that, we are back home. Me and Kate are gonna chill out for a bit before we gotta take her back. But to be honest with you, that's pretty much where we're gonna end today's vlog. So hopefully you guys did enjoy what a weekend it was. Unfortunately, we could not top it off with the World Cup win, but hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Also, massive, massive thank you for support on the vlog yesterday, the match day vlog between Hashtag and Abogna. It's gone crazy, it's a two out of 10, which is nuts. And listen, you guys, are just crazy. That is not where the crazy content ends. We've got some massive, massive adventure vlogs, unboxings, challenges coming up over the next few weeks, and it is gonna be absolutely mint. So I'll take care. I hope you guys take care. Don't know what I was going with that. <laughs> Smash that like button, subscribe if you are new, smash that note you bell, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care and peace.